Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today we're going to be playing with the Stocking Full of Joy die set from Spellbinders. This is the July Large Die of the Month and <laughs> look at that. It makes a stocking with lots of fun things to put in it, but you don't have to use all the things. You can use just part of the things. I mean, it's even got a little gnome that sticks out the top of your stocking. So I think that is super, super cute. I'm going to get busy die cutting and see where the, this little guy takes me. So I have die cut out a bunch of things and I'm attempting to use Nude Bow Drops. Um, this one is in Simply White. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm trying in Sim Simply White to decorate my little gingerbread men. I actually cut out three of them. Um, I think before I add any, um, any of the white onto these, I am going to add a little bit of shading to give them a little bit of a toasted look, but I think they're going to be super cute. I'm just kind of playing i've cut out a bunch of stuff <laughs> so we're gonna just start assembling things and i'll put what i want in the stocking when we get to it uh, i'm just using a finger dauber and simon hurley's weeping willow brown ink and just going around the edges so just going around all of the edges and they will come in a little bit from the outside and just bring that in a little bit more and I am blotting it off some so I don't get too much so that looks pretty good I do want a little bit of a lighter color in there too so I think I'm gonna come in with cookie dough and see how it does over this um this brown cardstock okay so I think I'm done with that one so now let's try some cookie dough I think that's actually going to look pretty good because the cookie dough seems to be a little bit warmer than the weeping willow. I'm just going to come in from the outside, kind of blend it in, going towards the center. And I was thinking that cookie dough is probably going to be too light, but I think it's actually pretty much perfect. That does look kind of like a cookie. So I'll go ahead and do the other and add some of the white to it as well. That way it can be drying while I'm putting together everything else. Oh my goodness, these guys are just so stinking cute. Uh, they are going to take a little bit of time to dry because I did kind of make um, um, domes for all of the little circles, the little yeah, his eyes and little buttons. So these are going to take a little bit to dry before I can put them on the card. So that means I may not be able to get it finished up today, but that doesn't mean I can't finish up the video tomorrow. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some pieces together. Um, one is my, some of these I'm just layering up multiple layers because I do want a little bit more dimension. Um, we can start with our stocking. So here we go with the stocking. I've got a couple little pieces here. It's for the heel and the toe. And I'm hoping it's going to stick well to the glitter cardstock that I decided to cut the the stocking out of. But we're going to have to just see. And it's probably going to... I think everything's going to take a while to dry. Ah, okay, this is for, this is actually for the toe. I almost put it on the heel and that was the wrong spot. So this one actually goes right about here. And I'm going by what the diagram shows that you get with your... There we go. Um, that you get with your kit. So you'll want to keep the packaging to have an idea of where you want it to go, where everything is designed to go. Doesn't mean you have to use it in that fashion, but sometimes it's good to have an idea before we get started. I can put the heel on. So here is the cuff of our stocking. I decided I wanted to have a little bit of dimension there, so I cut out some additional pieces. So I've got three extras cut out and I'm just going to glue those together and I'm going to top that although since it's white it would look great just as it is but I'm going to top it with this silver glitter cardstock or silvery white 
Uh, just to give it that glittery look. I think that'll be real pretty on my card. There we go. And I'll put that under the weight for a bit. And then I can go ahead and do the sentiment too, because I'm also doing that one with some multiple layers. I cut it with three additional pieces and um, plus the topper in glitter cardstock. Because this is such a fine, thin lined sentiment that there's no way you could put foam behind it. But this is pre pretty much the only way you can add some dimension to it. And I thought that that would look nice popped up. Okay, so next I want to work on my little gnome. Um, there were some additional pieces that I cut out. Actually, there's also the little pieces that go on our <laughs> on our gingerbread man. We've got the smile and we've got the little um, little pieces, the little squiggles that go on the cuffs of his arms and his feet. But of course, I didn't use them. I do need to do something about these little gloves though for our gnomes. I'm going to just take a marker and color those in in black. And if any white is showing after I put them onto his little silvery sleeves, then that's going to be fine too. I can just use my marker to color that in. Also got his little nose, which I cut out of white as well, but I want it to be kind of a flesh tone so that one's a little bit pinkish don't really want him to be bright pink and then this one see what this one looks like that's even brighter so i'm just kind of experimenting with my markers Okay, this one I think is going to work better. It's kind of a lighter one, so that I think is what I want it to be. If I go too dark of a pink, it's going to look like my little gnome's been into the eggnog a little bit too much, and we don't want that. It should dry back a little bit. I put probably down too much ink using the chisel tip, but that's okay. Okay, so let's take a look and see how our little gloves are. Don't think there's too much. So that looks good. So I'll go ahead and put them on my little gnome's hands. So this one is for the side. Just put a little bit of adhesive on the back of that. And one of the things I've noticed whenever I'm using glitter cardstock is it doesn't really want, nothing wants to stick to it. So that's why we're going to be using the weight a lot in this card because Christmas, yeah, that's a perfect time for us to be using some glitter, right? Okay, put some on the back of this one. And just line it right up with the tip of his hand. Okay, so now he has his little arms done. And we can start putting the rest of him together. So I've got, we've got the, the, the beard. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is an embossed line. An embossed circle right there where his nose goes. I love it when sets do that and let me know exactly where it needs to go. So I can go ahead and put his nose on. And then we have his hat over here. And I'm just going to add some adhesive to the back of his hat. 
beard here. There's also a slit cut right here for his hat. So we can just slide that right on in. And there's a groove where his nose is supposed to go. So we just place it right there. Okay. So it's pretty much stuck on. I am going to put a little bit more of an adhesive right here where it joins the front of the hat. And that should hold everything together. And then when we put him on the stock in the stocking, his arms just kind of come out from behind his little beard. So I'm going to go ahead and since this does take a little longer to adhere, let's go ahead and add some glue on the back there and just place it in place. So now it's going to just look like he's hanging out of the stocking. So that's pretty cute. Awesome. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and put our, the top of our stocking, the cuff, in place. There we go. Oh. It was a little bit stuck to my desk, didn't want to move. Okay. Now it's, now it's in place and I will place that weight on top of this one again too. Like each piece needs to be glued really, really well. While we're waiting on this part to finish drying, let's go ahead and make our candy cane. Got some additional pieces here. I've actually got some ornaments and I've got the little pieces of red that go on the candy cane. So I'm just putting all of the little bits together. And now I'll go ahead and put together my ornaments. Now the ornaments just come, there's two pieces. There's a round one like a ball and then there's another one that's got this peaked end. And of course we've got our little toppers that I cut out of silver cardstock. This is out of the silver mirror cardstock that I, I don't really use it that often, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And just like the glitter cardstock, it doesn't really like to stick to others. So these guys as well are going to need a little bit of extra drying time. Okay, we've got most of our little bits put together now. Awesome. So next I've got our greenery. So I've got some different colors of leaves cut out. I've got some holly and then some other leaves. And I'm going to put these little red berries on all of them. I may not have enough cut out, but that's okay. If I don't, I can always cut out some more. And this is also another good place that you could use your Nouveau drops if you wanted as well. If you don't really like putting on these little bitty, little bitty circles, these little bitty berries that I cut out, if you don't like doing that, you could always just use some some Nemo drops and add them on like that. It will probably weigh a little bit longer and weigh a little bit more and it does take longer to dry, but that is a cute option too. And I always have trouble getting them right side up <laughs> when I'm taking them out of my little dish. They always, for whatever reason, they like to be upside down. So here's our little holly bush, our holly um, sprig there that's going to go inside of our stocking and if I decide I want more I can always cut out more of those okay I'm going to start stuffing my stocking I do not have it adhered down to the card base yet 
I'm kind of wanting to get a little bit of an idea and try to get everything to fit in there without it popping up way above the edge of my A2 size card base. Now, if you went with a five by seven card, that would make everything fit a little bit better. I'm still sticking with my typical, my standard A2 size though. So I've got my little gnome on there. He's all glittery. Let's go ahead and put the candy cane right behind it. Now there are some pieces that we're gonna be sticking in the that we went through the trouble of decorating up nice that we're still going to be sticking inside of our stocking again i'm going to put it back on here just to make sure everything is about where i want it okay i'm going to go ahead and add my little um holder hanger whatever <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go ahead and add that on there it's another one with that's got that glitter so it's gonna be a little bit harder to adhere it's actually adhering everything is adhering a lot faster this time around than what i was expecting because usually i have a really 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 hard time with glitter okay so there we go i'm gonna wait till the end to put my sentiment on so i can have it so I can figure out exactly where I want it positioned. And I'm not real sure what I want to do with the little ornaments or if I'm going to do anything with them. So let me check on, <laughs> let me check on my little gingerbread men. They have been sitting um, drying for a bit. They probably are not ready yet, but let's see if, if any of them are dry enough that we can go ahead and add them to the stocking. Okay, I'm going to say that my gingerbread men are probably not quite ready yet, but I'm going to go ahead and add him. Let's see, where do I want to position him? I think if he goes about right there, part of him is going to be covered up. You can probably have him a little bit higher. I'm going to glue him straight down to the card base. That way it's going to be... Um, I can position everything else. Give it a little bit more time to dry, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um because it's just his his it's just the nouveau drops that needs to dry everything else is good so i'm gonna put it up high there we go i'm gonna say that that's good and i'm gonna try not to touch any of the drops okay so this guy can go about here and i do still need to add a lot of greenery behind it but i'm also going to pop all of this up on some foam and that's going to give us a little bit more dimension and a little bit more space to add all of the extra bits that i'm going to just glue straight down so go ahead and add my foam to the back of my stocking Okay, so we've got the stocking down. I don't have the hat of my gnome down yet because I want to put some of the greenery in first. And I'm going to have to trim off, I think, some of the branches and such to get it in place. That is totally fine too, though, because yeah, you know, we don't want it to overlap the um, foam. But don't be afraid to cut apart your die cuts.
I think this is adorable. I am going to save, I think, the rest of my greenery for another card. And let's see. Do I want to add anything else to this? I think I'm going to have our little gnome holding an ornament. That would be kind of cute. And then I'll add a little bit of red to break up some of that white there. There we go. And then I can just add our sentiment and we are done. Actually, I do have one more thing I need to do. I need to add a little bit of foam to the back of his head <laughs> so that he doesn't get doesn't pop off at any point. But I think this turned out super, super cute. Isn't this just darling? Okay, there we go. All right. So that is going to finish up this card <laughs> using the large die of the month from Spellbinders. I think this turned out super, super cute. I, I just can't get, I can't get over. I love that little gingerbread mat and I do love the little nub. So these are just super cute. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Be sure to check out this playlist to see some more videos where I'm using Spellbinders products and be sure to um, keep an eye out for the rest of my Christmas in July series. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.